Okay, we are on, and uh, this is uh, Tucker Carlson. That's the jewel of the California Sounds like she's having a speech school, there. Nominally subject to the First Amendment, you think so anyway. Apparently, though, hecklers and rioters get a veto there as long as they are left of center. And Coulter joins us tonight. Oh, there's an interview with her right now. Language, so this jumped right out of me. This is a statement from Berkeley to students on Twitter. It sounds like a joke. Out coming out being her speech being canceled. Especially Two given things. unqualified support for our students' right to bring speakers of their choosing to the university. And our deep commitments to the values of the First Amendment. They're so deeply the committed. Of that, actually, yep. isn't it? <laughs> well, yes, it is. And by the way, I am giving a speech. Um, oh, I'm still going to give it. They're going to arrest me. Um, uh, put me in the, in the Birmingham jail. Uh, but no, I'm definitely giving a speech. I'm invited to give a speech. 60 days in the hall. Um, and they went through what, what college um, students have, have come to, to recognize. They kept piling on, you know, requirements, ruses. Um, you can't speak in the evening. You have to speak, speak in the daytime when kids are in classes. We're All not demands. sure who you're going to use. We won't tell you until the last minute. No, demands. You have to exclude everyone um, except students. And although the groups kept, the intermediaries kept encouraging me to say, you know, this is unfair. They never do this to liberals. I kept saying, never do it to liberals. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. 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 So I agreed to all of their demands. And then wake up this morning and they send out a letter saying how much they love the the First Amendment and freedom of speech and they're so committed to it, but we're just canceling her anyway. Like that um, I do so that they're they canceling her. Canceling. That means they're not allowing you to speak there, these supporters of the First Amendment? Um, well, we'll find out if they arrest me when I show up to give my speech. Um, but, but, yeah, that, that is... That's going to be interesting. I hope there's cameras and, there. And you're absolutely right. I mean, this is a taxpayer-funded institution. Um, not to mention, um, lots of kids getting federal money to be there. Federal money um, coming, you know, pouring into General these places Jeff for... Be looking at this. Uh, um, but, yeah, this is... I mean, we, you, we always reasons. knew that the... Um, um, universities were like this, but usually it's things like, you know, you meet kids every college campus you go to, yeah, and you say, one. oh, I got an A on every paper until I wrote one writing, um, you know, defending concealed carry, and then I got an F. So it's all just like this. Put, put, put it on on we're, sure. okay, we're putting a, a, one of the posters on campus. Oh, this is a poster that's on the campus. Bragging about how they got you kicked off, they got David Horowitz silenced. Oh, this is loud enough. Do you think it is threats from Groups like this that kept you off campus? Um, I think it's the faculty and the administration. I mean, it was two student groups that invited me. One was the College Republicans. One was, as far as I know, a nonpartisan group that just invites speakers. I think they were right. embarrassed about what happened um, with Milo, and they wanted to show, oh, no, we can we can have another speaker. And I, I, I mean, I think you have kind of a pure case of it here. I, I love like Milo, it. but I'm not Milo. I'm a 12-time... New York Times best-selling author. I was thinking about, or I was planning, or I will be speaking on um, the topic of um, my second-to-last New York Times bestseller, registering at number two. If that's speech that the university, I mean, forget changing, saying that I just speak in the middle of the day. I said okay. You said okay. I really said so only on what grounds did I they did okay. okay. And then, what was their justification exactly? Um, well, lots of words, 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 words. Words, um, words, because words. I didn't because I called to their bluff, and they didn't called have enough bluff. reason to cancel me. Um, As if they didn't have enough One of the excuses was, well, we need, we need more than four weeks more. Um, to prepare for a speech like this. Well, no, if what you're worried about is the protesters, you want to give them about four minutes or, you know, <laughs> four <laughs> hours of announcement uh, sort of speeches. You don't give them four weeks. weeks to prepare to come protest and shut the thing down. Wow, that's fascinating. So when that's are you going to show up anyway? What's what's the date of your new speech? Same day. Same day. Same day. Same day. Same next day. Thursday, the 27th. Um, um, I'm not down. sure if I'll do it in the daytime as they have requested or do it when, you know, Nobody normal wants to speakers, do it in the daytime. i.e., you know, corrupt Let's Latin American rulers like Vincent A. Fox are allowed to speak. But I'm definitely ah, speaking next Thursday at Berkeley. Vicente Fox. Wow. All right. We'll be following it. Hopefully, we'll the cameras it. there. Good luck, Ann Coulter. Good luck. Thank you. Up next, Europe has taken in millions of migrants in just the past few years. Some say it isn't.
I'm going to upload that video and show the handful of times that Ann Coulter, 12 times New York Times best-selling author, repeats like everybody else on TV. With that being said, I'll post it because I'm being told that the fact that everybody is repeating what they say is the winning ticket. Let's see.